Hi, my name is Pastor Leo, and today I got a special treat for you. Today's sermon was just really got me excited today, the word, and how the Lord enters into your life. He brings you into a place where you can really learn to walk and live and move and have your being in Him as opposed to in the world. What we're learning is from the Word of God is that He empowers you that the power of the resurrection in your life can change you. And what we're going to talk about today, you're going to see it in a moment. We're going to just give you an excerpt from today's Sunday sermon. You're going to hear how nothing is impossible for those who are in Christ Jesus and how that works. How we got to stop getting our eyes off of what's going on in the outside world and start getting them on the inside. Jesus gave us an example. He said that he only do, does what he sees the Father doing. And I got to ask you a question. What do you do in your life? Do you see what you're, you, I know that um, many of us will follow what we feel on the outside instead of seeing what God is showing us on the inside. We got to learn to navigate this place called the inner person, that inner man. And it's in that place as you learn to strengthen the inner man, learn to strengthen what God has given you, learn to navigate the heart and the mind. You begin to realize that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You have been empowered and it was all opened because Jesus went and died on the cross. He opened the curtain and he brought us into the very presence of Almighty God. So go ahead. I, I invite you to listen to what we're talking about today. These are just the Lord's words. This is how he works. And if you want to hear the full sermon, we'll post it at the bottom of the screen. Have a blessed day and enjoy. What does the word of God say? We're learning about it in the book of Revelation. For them that overcome, I will give you a new name. You will become a pillar in my temple. And what are you overcoming? I'm going to overcome something in my life. I'm gonna... No, 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 no. You don't overcome because of what you do. You overcome in your life because of what you've received. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the grace that comes in. It's that... The word that impregnates your heart and your mind and you realize that who I am. That's why you get a new name on a white stone. Yeah. Because it's about identity. It's not about what you do. So if you want to learn to walk by the Spirit of God and become the overcomer that He's called you to be, you need to spiritually be able to touch and to feel, to be able to see it already done. Jesus said, I only do what I see the Father doing. Let me ask you, what do you do? You need a bill paid? You have a problem in your life that you need to overcome? Learn to bring it this way. See it, feel it as already done. That's why, the Father, that's why Jesus says, and he says it's one of the most powerful prayers in the New Testament. Father, I thank you that you, past tense, heard me. What is he doing? He's raising Lazarus from the dead. Amen. And I thank you that you always hear me. How do we pray? Dear God, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. This is terrible. What? And then after you pray, you go, now what do I do? No wonder our prayers aren't heard. And then we do what? We find everybody around us to confirm in our lives why we are in such bad shape. That's our instinct. That's the way we are. That means that for those who are in Christ Jesus, the Word of God says that nothing, nothing is impossible for you. Amen.